We are getting radiated as shit. If I survive, I'm going to have cancer at the end. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome to Deep Sixed, a space management roguelike simulation. It's really fucking in-depth. Uh, you'll probably have an engineering degree by the end. Super, super nice. I died in my last game, uh, my last recording. Failed to record, so we're gonna start up a new game. It's completely fine. Uh, the tutorial is actually pretty helpful in helping to understand what the game's all about. So, we'll watch our little intro here and see how the, uh, main character got into this situation. Involuntary employee 6584. Guilty verdicts. One charge, criminal negligence. Aww. Sentence. Involuntary service contract with Astra Interstellar. Contract to last undisclosed months. This, and I was good at it. Or, <laughs> I thought I was. I was an AI operations monitor. Basically a babysitter. My job was to make sure all the robots and the programs humanity depends on don't screw up and hurt anybody. The job wasn't particularly taxing. Protocol 1. Keep an eye on the AIs. Protocol 2. Make sure they're not doing anything weird. Protocol 3. Shut them down if they start doing something weird. What I didn't figure out was Protocol 4. Don't get complacent, no matter how easy the job is. They say the total cost of my negligence was several billion credits, and a Mars colony was temporarily deprived of some good kosher cheeses. After the guilty verdict, a company called Astra Interstellar Solutions wasted no time buying my corrections contract. Now, all I want is to finish my time, get home, and start over. Finish my time and get Hello, home. Hello, involuntary employee number 6584. Welcome to your home away from home. I am the artificial intelligence unit assigned to your surveying vessel that is currently docked in the hangar. I am known as the Universal Remote Sentient Avatar, or URSA. That's a painfully shoehorned acronym. Looking around, you'll notice that no expense has been spared for your comfort and security during your indefinite stay with Astra. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and sounds of deep space from your furnished cell. If there are ever more sounds than there are sights, something is very wrong, and you should relay an emergency signal immediately. If there are no sounds, the station may be decompressed, and you should relay an emergency signal immediately. If the emergency signal system is down, you should relay an emergency signal immediately. <laughs> you no doubt can't oh. wait to get started making a name for yourself within the Astra Interstellar Solutions family. Before you begin, you may want to check your messages. Alright, so we could uh, press escape and skip all of that. If you buy the game for yourself, you will probably want to do just that. I've already read all of these messages in my last uh, voyage into space, but if you'd like to pause the video, you can read those just fine. Uh, you can repair your ship here, buy new items for your ship in order to uh, repair it. Sometimes a motherboard will go burnout or something like that and you'll need to have a replacement and if not then you you could be screwed basically um if your hyperdrive or your scanner goes on the fritz and takes a shit then you're going to be in big trouble if your fuel rods are understocked and you run out of energy you're going to be in big trouble there's a lot of big trouble that you can run out to out in space which obviously would be true in real life and there's a lot of things that can go wrong with your ship you can upgrade and uh, kind of make your ship a little bit stronger, increase the power of the lasers, increase the uh, scanning speed of the radar, upgrade it to spot different things, um, upgrade charge speed of the hyperdrive, that's probably pretty important as well, uh, and you can also get more local jumps. Once you jump to a system, maybe the target that you're looking for is not there and you'll need to have some more jumps. Increasing battery storage and recharging batteries as the generator's powers uh, really important to have the probe. That's probably one of the first upgrades that you should buy. And then you can launch probes and mine asteroids and things like that. Uh, armor plating, obviously take a little bit less damage to your hull when you are attacked by monsters and such. And then shields, just increasing the, uh, the time that the shield lasts and also the damage that it takes. So, 
You can see here they cost two little certificates of which I have zero, so we'll need to complete a mission first. That can also be done from the computer right here. Uh, right now there are there's only one mission, but it gives four rewards points, so we will uh, we will take it. We will take it and we will do it. Probably not well because it's really hard to do it well. Before we get on the uh, the little pod and go out into space, it's probably privy to. Uh, Know that your manual is right here. This basically has everything that you'll need to know as far as error codes and things like that. Scanner code, uh, what happens if there's a cabin fire? What should I do? A fire extinguisher can put out a small fire. Purging radiation and larger fires from the ship will require room depressurization using the fire and radiation room suppression console in the reactor room. So, obviously, you'll have to search around for these consoles if you're unfamiliar with the game, which I still relatively am. i played maybe three or four rounds, and I still don't feel really well-versed with everything that's going on. There are some problems that I'll encounter, and I'll be like, oh, I've seen this one before, I know what to do. But uh, a lot of it is guesswork, which is kind of what attracts me to the game, but also makes it extremely difficult. Anyways, here is the overview of the Nebula. We seem to have lost the probe somewhere around here. That is what that little excl exclamation point uh, denotes. So we will activate hyperdrive and head to that sector. Welcome to the viewing room. We have five of these on the ship in each different um, each different section of the radar. You can see a different part of what's around you. So, yeah, power allocation panel, you can power your lasers, your scanner, your targeting, which will help you lock on to things faster, which is obviously pretty important, uh, but right now we're trying to increase the scanner. So each viewing room has uh, a layout. We need to fix the scanner before we can continue our mission. Well, first I'm doing some other stuff. I know I will need this universal control board to complete... Uh, fixing the scanner, because obviously I've played the tutorial before, but you'll notice that each layout of these viewing rooms is a little bit different. Slightly different, things look the same, but they are all in different places as you go to the different viewing rooms. So I think a lot of this game is just playing a lot of this game and knowing where different things are. So obviously the lockers here, targeting primary console, left panel, Left panel and right panel, I kind of get that. That's always in the same spot, on the left or the right. But everything else, power relay, atmosphere gauge, is um, always mixed around. I'll go to another viewing room and show you that and shut up the, the characters. So yeah, shields are here. Targeting's a little bit uh, changed. But now our power relay's over here. We've got the locker down this way instead. I will take that screwdriver and wrench fill up my bag with all the things that I think I might need, just in case. I'll continue to check the lockers because, oh, duct tape, that's going to be good. That'll help me if uh, we take a big hit and the cabin gets depressurized, the window gets cracked kind of thing. Replacement pipe, cable repair kit, that's about all I can really fit in my bag. I don't know when I'll need this replacement pipe or radiation pills. Haven't encountered that problem quite yet, so uh, we'll see. I guess we'll see. And I think there's one more locker to check. Where's the fucking locker? Oh boy. If you don't know where something is or where you can click, you can hold down spacebar or the uh, middle mouse button. And that'll kind of lead you to some different things. Left panel. Laser configuration. Maybe this room doesn't have a locker. Oh, it's an overhead locker. I see. What's this certificate? Tell me. It says recognition award to Shane Paulson for 10 years of service as an involuntary employee. Huh. I guess that belonged to the last guy. Shane Paulson. His name was Robert Paulson. <laughs> Maybe he completed his contract. 10 years? That's a good long time. Um, but yeah. There's so much different stuff to do in this room. Obviously, hull integrity will tell how much more damage the ship can take. Local radar will tell you where asteroids or incoming debris or creatures are coming from and you can navigate to the the corresponding viewing room um, we've got deceleration field which will basically slow enemies down and make it easier to shoot them left panel has to do with fixing the ship right panel has to do with fixing the ship laser configuration um, you can basically do a steady fire or a burst fire um, I think it's steady laser or modulating laser and then you have your calibration meter on the right here 
and if your laser gets extremely out of calibration, it can explode and leave you without any any way to defend that viewing room, which is really, really problematic. Um, or if you if you let it get relatively uh, in poor condition, your reticle will start shaking and it's super hard to aim at stuff. But anyways, let's... Uh, done with the viewing rooms now. We've got all of these parts in the center of the ship. Scanner room, hyperdrive room, reactor room. We're supposed to go to the scanner room. Deep space sc from here. If you looked... Hold on. Are you actually conscious? I just assumed you were an interactive script. Of course not. I am not an interactive script. Squirrel trumpet stuffing vowel interactive script. Of course not. I am not a squirrel trumpet stuffing vowel interactive script. <sighs> yep. <laughs> squirrel trumpet stuffing vowel interactive script. I am not a trumpet squirrel stuffing vowel interactive script. The comedy in this game is uh, pretty top notch. Pretty universal, if you'll excuse the pun. Obviously, it's better than my, than my whatnots. So, here's where they're trying to lead me to learn how to fix the scanner. We've got error code 106. So I'm going to go to scanner room, check out error codes, and 106, terminal motherboard failure, opening scanning hardware, remove, carefully remove malfunctioning universal controller board, replace it with identical part. So that seems easy enough, I guess. Here's the scanning hardware. Pop that nasty little burnt out board out of there. And get the new one from my... Oh, it's not in my backpack. I stuffed it in the locker. Why would I do that? My brain's not uh, fully functioning, I guess. So, here we go. Well enough. Thank you for all the tool tips. I don't know if I need it the fifth time that I play, but it sure is helpful. Okay, the scanner's working again. So, the scanner's just going to uh, work itself, scan a bunch of parsecs until eventually it comes across the missing, missing boy. Looks like the scanners found something. Well, that was relatively quick, wasn't it? So we got to go to this little uh, top right sector. So we can go down to the hyperdrive room. Thank you so much. Okay. Click on hyperdrive computer. And our hyperdrive is actually ready. So we should probably just jump. But there's also going to be some enemies there. Mmm, I'm scared. Well, let's... uh. Let's point out some things in the hyperdrive room. Your toolbox, yes. This is probably where you want to keep your tooly things. Cable repair kit, yep, I'll put that. Duct tape, screwdriver. This will be good. Keep my inventory nice and clean. Inventory management, uh, simulator. It's, it's... This game could have so many labels applied to it. It's absolutely insane. Um, let's see. This is basically all the life support functions, life system supports. We've got the radiation scrubber, uh, pressure gauge. If, if you're having problems with uh, life support, this is probably the room that you want to go to or refer to refer to it in the manual and it can po point you to the uh, correct place to go. Down here we've got most of the uh, power systems and things like that. So if you lose power in a in a viewing room or something like that, you can come down to this diagnostic terminal and check out um, which which of these wavy things is not waving anymore, and then replace that with the uh, with the correct cable. That's a problem that took me a long time how to figure out. Uh, we've got the reactor door here, if we should want to charge that up, and we've got four fuel rods. I'm not going to bother with those quite yet, because fuel rods are precious. And, um, yeah, if you run out of power, it's, it's about the worst thing that can happen out in space. You've got to keep reallocating your power can't charge the hyperdrive because you need lasers to fight off the monsters that are beating the shit out of your ship, and then maybe you need to charge the hyperdrive to get home, maybe you want to defeat the monsters, but defeating the monsters is going to eat all your power. It's it's a juggling act. An extreme juggling act, and it's fucking amazing in every way. So we've got our uh, circuit breakers here. Sometimes if you lose power, all you need to do is flip those, but usually I find that you need to replace the wire. Anyways, that's uh, the gist of these these middle compartments, so much, much later than we should, let's go ahead and uh, get to that boy. Here we go! Shazoom! Alright, we've arrived. So we gotta check out local radar. Thank you so much, Tooltip. 
And it is in Sector 5, so we'll check that out. Bam, look at that. Look at that. And we're on laser mode. So we'll go ahead and blast that thing. Yeah! Primary mission objective complete! Oh god. external biological threats. You should prepare to defend the ship or get us out of here. Mm, hyperdrive is going to take five minutes to charge up, so that's not going to be good. I think it was viewing room one. Let's go check that out. And I'll put some more power in our hyperdrive. Because I want to charge that up a little bit faster. And I will uh, boost this laser's power. So maybe we can take this thing out quick. Tarbat. Oh, look at that. It's doing so good. And he's spitting a ball of goo at us, so I can shoot that out of the way. If you don't shoot it, then it will cover your windows, and I haven't found any way to get it off of the windows. So it's really, really not a good thing. Um, my reticule's a little bit slow. He's going to the left, so we gotta go to the left as well. Follow him into viewing room 5. I'm gonna boost power to the lasers once more. And actually to the targeting as well, why not? And you can see the uh, reticules moving a lot faster now. So that's helpful. And I crit that shit. Hell yeah! I don't even have any upgrades on these lasers yet. So, boom. Taking a good chunk of his health. One more hit maybe. And that's it. Eventually you have to refuel the reactor so you don't run out of battery power. You'll find detailed instructions in the manual. Yep, I know how to do that. It's basically just open the reactor door, feed it a fuel rod, but you don't want to leave the reactor door open for too long or else you'll get radiation poisoning, which is uh, pointed out by this detector here. Radiation poisoning goes down really, really slow over time, but it will also reset once you get back to the base. Um, sometimes your shields won't activate. We didn't have to deal with shields because I shot the goo ball that that dude was shooting at us out of the air, but um, this is the shield regulator. Sometimes you'll have to change the color of it in order to get your shields to work. Um, what else? There's also the battery. The fucking battery gives me a lot of trouble. Primary battery. If you're having trouble with this bar on the far left, this is the cause right here. You either need to replace the motherboard or hit it with a wrench. <laughs> Which, I guess, I guess that works. How's our hyperdrive doing? Still got another minute or so. So I'll go back to a viewing room and uh, collect some gas. That's what I'll do. Chemical manufacturing is where you want to go to do that. And then you can just fill up a canister. Do -do -do -do. So we got hydrogen, helium, all this other shit. And uh, you can also manufacture if you have enough of said chemicals. But obviously 100 liters? Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot, bro. I don't even have that much. I could fill up all three canisters, but I'd rather go to uh, another sector and then fill up the canister because that's... That's going to give me some different chemicals and stuff. So I think hyperdrive should be ready. Yeah, we're cool. Activate that hyperdrive. Head on home. That was a relatively speedy mission compared to some that I've been on. That was a close one, but you're alive, and that's what counts. Hooray! We got four astral reward points, so I can buy some items and uh, upgrade my ship, possibly. Astra, etc. Thank you so much. So let's uh, go to repair ship. I want to I want to get some fuel rods because I know this is going to be important. That's the that's basically how I died in the last run. So, it was a painful way to go. Very slow, very painful. Military grade weapons upgrade is two two credits. Let's uh upgrade the battery storage. That's only one credit. We've got two credits left. I could stick another uh what solar sail? Oh, we need we need some sort of chemical for that. So I'm gonna go get the drone upgrade. That's what I should do. Outfitted with retrieval probe, capable of independently collecting small artifacts of interest. Give your probe a name. I like Boomer. That's cool. Propulsion upgrade plus 50% collection speed or electrified hull plating. Probe can defend itself from melee attacks by running a significant current over the whole surface. The capacitor must recharge after use. Well, I can't afford either of those, but at least we have the probe now. We could also buy some extra parts. Unfortunately, the parts don't arrive immediately, which is 
a little bit sad. <laughs> Sometimes you desperately need something and there's no way to get it there faster. So you have to have a little bit of pre-planning, um, which I'm not great at, especially because I want to upgrade my ship, not buy a bunch of crap to maintain my ship. But if you upgrade your ship, then uh, it's, it's not going to matter if it's not maintained. It can have all the upgrades in the world, but if it's not maintained, it's going to explode and you're going to be flung into deep space and die. So what do we need? We've got a controller board, just one of these sitting around, thermal sensor, replacement pipe. We have one of all of these, so we might want to get just one more, something like that. Mm, I think controller board. I see myself needing it at some point in the future. Probably fuel rods as well, but we'll get some more after the next mission. So let's see what we have as far as missions. Cull Xenofauna, reward points 5 plus 1. That's, that's pretty nice, a potential of 6. This one has 4 plus 2, so it's also 6. But that means we also have to uh, do the optionals. That's why it has a plus 1. So, kill 2 creatures, scan 7 sectors, record audio of any creature. Versus kill two Tarbats, one photo of Tarbat, record Tarbat audio. So, um, I think Tarbats are pretty easy to kill, and we can definitely take a photo and record one if we have to kill two, so I accept that mission. <clears throat> That'll do. And, um, we obviously have the Beast Sherry that's been upgraded. This is going to show you the weak point. It'll tell you whether Steady Laser modulate modulating laser is more powerful, and then how the deceleration field does against it. Reavers basically slow down to, to a crawl if the deceleration field is on them. Tar bats are not as affected, um, and they're basically hit normal by everything. But the weak point for these is the head, so that's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a little bit hard to aim. This ship is not the, the greatest thing that I've ever experienced. It's not the best put together. But that's okay. This is the sector that we were in last time, and we found a tar bat there. So I'm tempted to go there. But then there's also, like, anomalies and stuff like that, which maybe... Maybe would be good. It could be an asteroid, or it could be a singularity, which uh, could kill us instantly. <laughs> Roll the dice! Pay the price! Let's, let's check it out. Why not? Let's see what's around us. Three. Hmm... Here we have the the asteroid, but I can't really figure out how the probes work. So we're basically just waiting. Waiting for a Tarbat to show up, because that's the the primary objective. Collecting something from this this probe would just be a, a nice secondary. However, I will fill up a canister and see what we can get. See what we might have. More hydrogen and helium. Yeah, I'm not too impressed. Not too impressed with that. But, uh, I don't think we can manufacture anything with that. We need some rarer stuff. We need some of that fluoride. Delicious! And I'm out of power now, as you can see, so I probably want to, uh, head down to the reactor room and get one of those fuel rods going. Open the reactor door. Hooray! It goes in nice and slow while my radiation ticks up over here. And then you have to make sure... Oh, shit. Oh god, okay, um, troubleshooting, reactor door, reactor door, uh, it's probably in the reactor, mmm, ah, uh, the fuel rod must be completely depleted before a new rod can be loaded, take care to close the reactor door immediately after loading fuel or the ship will flood with radioactive isotopes, okay, but how do I close it, what happened? Ensure the reactor fuel door is closed and not leaking radiation. If the reactor fuel door fails to close, use a heavy blunt object to dislodge a jam. This may take a few tries to succeed. Okay. So we need to uh, hit it with something. Where did I put that crap in the toolbox? Just, just keep your head, keep your head together. Don't freak out. Everything's going to be fine. Bam. Close, you piece of shit. Come on. Do it! We are getting radiated as shit. If I survive, I'm going to have cancer at the end. <laughs> okay, well, we got it closed eventually. I guess that's what's important. Um, I think I can launch probes from up here. 
probe communication port. Yeah. Do I just communicate with it up here? Hmm. I'm gonna bump some more power into the uh, the scanner. And it seems like the the fuel that I put in the reactor has been completely consumed. So let's go put another one in. We've got another delivery coming. My lasers can be nice and strong, at least for a little while. I got stuff to take out. Oh boy. Radiation detector. Attention pilot. Irregular motion detected in the sector. Okay. Here we go. Viewing room four. Hey buddy. Let's uh get that photo and whatnot before we blow this thing up. Make it a nice photo. And then we get the microphone and kind of just hold it over the creature until it makes a sound. And that will record it for us. Which is gonna be super nice. If it would if it would just speak up. There it is. Alright. So now we're done with our secondary objectives. All we have to do now is kill the bastard. Piece of cake, right? Kinda. Don't want to fire too fast. Makes the laser quite inaccurate. Oh, he got me. He got me with that, that sticky goo ball of his. And as I said, that's going to stay there, so... At least he didn't hit me right in the middle of the screen. It's kind of nice. Oh, he did make it to the next room. So he went to the right. We got to go to viewing room five. There we go. One more shot. One shot, one kill, Sergeant! Cool. So let me bump the, uh, the power up. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good right now. Just for now. I know everything's gonna go to shit eventually. But that's just how it goes around here. Mm, gonna level with you? Not feeling so hot right now. Uh oh. Attention, pilot. Radiation levels are continuing to rise on board this vessel. Neutron radiation is fatal and therefore risks impeding upon mission objectives. Damn. Okay, so we've got some radiation to deal with. Uh, check if radiation air scrubber is in operation. It should be scrubbing. It should be scrubbing all the radiation out. Mm, leave it alone unless it's damaged. Well, I guess it's okay for now. I do have those radiation pills laying around somewhere. But it's really hard to tell. The game kind of just leaves you on your own with just a manual, which really puts you into the shoes of the character. You're like, oh, Jesus, what am I supposed to do now? Who knows? Require room depressurization using the fire and radiation suppression console in the reactor room. Hmm, fire and radiation suppression console in the reactor room. We should check that out. Fire and Radiation Suppression Console. Where's that? This is a new thing for me. Hmm. Attention, pilot. The ship scanner is experiencing a malfunction. Oh, boy. Ship scanner, okay. Error 500. So let's go fix the scanner before anything else, I guess. BIOS corrupted. Select system admin, then BIOS restore. Piece of cake. System admin, go. BIOS restore, go. Need to update your drivers or something. Repair. And system repaired. Cool! Alright! Cool, cool! Alright! My dad beats me! Alright! Not, 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 not my real dad! Cool! Let's activate the hyperdrive. I don't know what else to do to reset this radiation shit. There's a secret to it. I don't know what it is. Not just for firing the laser. Oh, there's a, a singularity. That that could be bad. It could be bad. I don't know. I'm not too hopeful. I'm scared to put more uh, fuel into that reactor because I'll probably end up dying. Ah. Uh, oh, our fuel did reset. Okay, so it takes a jump. It, you don't have to go all the way back to base. Sweet then I will put another fuel rod in. I'll just buy some more. Buy some more fuel rods next time around. There we go. 
Thank God that shit didn't get stuck. That was, uh, another panic moment. You know what I mean? We have a lot of those. I don't have any jumps left. Um, so we basically just have to wait for an enemy to find us here. So I'll fast forward time using this little, uh, this little console up here. And it's also telling me how, how long it takes to complete the mission. Some missions can take an extremely long time. Creature is approaching. He's in viewing room two. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down. Let's hit the uh, deceleration field. And that will take a little bit of power. That's okay. I'm going to jack, jack the laser up and then jack this thing up. Check me out now. Y'all, trick! He's got a lot of health. Seems to be resistant against the current laser type. Let's check the laser configuration panel, which I pointed out. So we're going to change that up to the modulating laser, and hopefully that's going to work a little better. You can see this second little bar is uh, getting a little bit out of whack. The more you use the laser, the more it gets out of whack, so you have to recalibrate it at some point. Which we will get to, I do promise. Um, so just blast this thing. Bam, bam, bam! I ain't taking no damage from this thing, not today. This thing hits like a fucking truck. So let's, uh, steal some power from the other rooms and jack it up to this one. That deceleration field is, uh, eating some stuff up. But that's alright. That's alright! Let's turn it off now. There it is. <laughs> I get a little lost in the console room sometime. Kill two tar bats. So I don't think we're gonna find the tar bat here. We might have to return to base in order to find one. Hyperdrive, it's it's gonna go pretty fast. So I'm not going to get the delivery returning back to base, which is really unfortunate. We need to kill one more tar bat before the delivery shows up. So let's hit the hyperdrive. We eliminated the enemies in that sector, and unfortunately it, it wasn't the enemy we were looking for. It would have been a little bit easier if I just chose uh, Cull Xenofauna, or whatever it was, but that's okay. Mercurial Star. It's not a singularity. Okay. Detected Species is Reavers. Hmm. Interesting. I'm, I'm just looking for tar bats right now. I'll go here. I know that they're here. I don't want to... I don't want to have this continue for too long, you know? It's already going to be a pretty long episode as far as a review goes, but as far as a review goes, yes, this game is fucking fantastic. <laughs> I would suggest that if it looks like something that you would enjoy, that you will definitely enjoy it. I am really over the top about this game. I love it. So scanners, doing okay. Hmm, we've only got one more fuel rod, so I don't really want to use it, but I also do want to power up the lasers to a decent amount. Ah, it's all about that balance, boy. Because if a tar bat doesn't show up this time around, we're going to be pretty fucked. Um, I could just jump away from it, but it doesn't seem like the best option, necessarily. Let's go check out the scanner room again. Oh, boy. Irregular motion, detected in the sector. Irregular motion? That sounds like something to kill. All right, viewing room one. And it is a tar bat, so sweet. I'm gonna fucking mash this thing up. And I'll take some laser powers. Now I really don't want to miss. So just take take your time. Alright. We good. And it looks like I'm having a a bit of an error identifying the health bars of the creature. And shoot that out of the air. Good job. So I need to uh, check my console and figure out why that error is occurring. There's a critical. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, boy. Alright, so let's see. Hmm, what could that be under? Viewing rooms? Life support? Troubleshooting? Shaky reticule? Inaccurate reticule? Let's see about that. Targeting system to place displays inaccurate or unintelligible information. Yes, that is the problem. Ensure there's no power allocated to the targeting subsystems. The targeting system cannot be initialized if it is operational. 
Oops. Go back. Stay on this page, though. So, let's knock out all of these. As much as we can, at least. Cool. That'll work nicely. Alright, go to viewing room console. Select and reinstall corrupted targeting drivers. Other drivers may need to be suspended first. Click here to learn more about driver functions. Oh, God. Laser drivers, targeting drivers. Essential driver for preventing target jitter. Essential driver connecting the targeting system to the Windows heads-up display. Oh my god. Viewing room console, was it? Where is that? Alright. One step at a time. Oh god. Debris incoming. So now we gotta go to the radar. It's in room 4. Power up room 4 really quick. And where is that shit? There it is. I see it. I see it. Excellent. All right. Power back down. We we good now. So let's see. We've got the lasers. Hmm. I guess we should just reinstall them. Oh, here it is. A line error. So let's can't can't reinstall a running driver. Of course. So let us suspend it. Action impossible while targeting system is powered. It's not powered. Oh my god. Power down the targeting system. No laser power. See that? See that? Alright. I've got a way around this. Go to the circuit breaker. Boom, 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 boom. How's that? How's that, fuckers? Can't access the primary console. <laughs> I guess that, that makes good sense. Just flip the breakers back on. As you can see, this is the puzzling part. Having a little bit of trouble. I mean, it's not really something that I need to be concerned with. I could just go back home and be like, whatever. I can't see what the fucking... what enemy it is, or what their life is. But I'd like to. So, let's just, uh, let's give it one more go. We'll see how it go. Targeting console. Suspend. Targeting system's not powered. How do I turn this off? No power allocated. Oh, targeting subsystems. Ugh. I powered down the laser subsystems instead of the fucking targeting subsystem. So, <laughs> this... I'll, I'll drop these back in. This is the targeting subsystem over here. So that's what needs to be powered down. And I'd like to see how slow the reticule moves. No targeting power. Yeah, it doesn't even work without it. Okay, super. Primary console. Um, let us suspend. Super. Now reinstall. Action requires 2.1 to be suspended. Okay, so also suspend this one. Reinstall. Excellent. And can I just stop suspension on this? Or do I have to reinstall it as well? I guess it's fine. Go ahead and reinstall. So, now it's it should be good. If we see another enemy, we'll, we'll determine whether it's good or not. At the moment, my quest is complete though, so I'm going to go back to the hyperdrive room, jump on home, and yeah. That'll be quite sweet, I think. Didn't need any local jumps there. Just uh, a sweet, quick quest. And I've got uh, a few tickets waiting for me. Look at that, six tickets. Boy, tell you what, I'm gonna spend that. Another successful mission! Hooray, thank you, computer. And, uh, here's Nebula Fauna and you! Perks of the job. Buy one, get one free for optimum lenses. So, let's see. Repair ship. We could, we could repair the ship with a couple of uh, plates, but I don't think we're going to need that quite yet. So we've got uh, three fuel rods in stock. I'm going to need more than that. Give me a couple of these crates. A couple crates of fuel rods. That's probably the most important thing, as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, you can see focusing lenses. We get four instead of two, 
which could be pretty sweet, but I'm not going to bother with it. I'm going to upgrade my ship. That's what I want. Oh, but what to upgrade? Ooh, there's so many options. That hyperdrive efficiency? Oh, that's sweet. That would also be sweet, but I need the fucking... What do you call it? The, the, the metal in order to do it. Increase collection speed. I think I'm going to go for uh, laser. Laser or... Probably this is good, the scanner. Yeah, biome assessment. Identify fauna likely to inhabit specific regions. It seems like uh, the right thing to do. Detected spatial anomalies, check. Marks fauna. Oh crap, we need three for that one. Alright, I'll upgrade the lasers instead. 10% weapon damage, better than nothing. We good. What's the next mission? Culling tar bats. Uh, locate a new cruiser site deposit, kill one tar bat, one photo of a tar bat, and then manufacture any compound is optional. Chemical manufacturing seems relatively easy, but then we'll have to fly to a lot of different systems in order to do it. Manufacture tetrafluorohydrazine. Manufacture ammonia, manufacture xenon difluoride. Interesting. Coal xenofauna. I think this is the one we're going to do. Yeah, kill two creatures. I am getting more proficient at the game. When I first started, I, I felt like the game was way too big and there was a lot to take in. But if you use a little bit of critical thinking, then you can easily access uh, which part of the guide that you're supposed to go to. And yeah, there's, there's really not so much of a rush. Nothing out there is going to destroy you absolutely instantly. You've got a couple minutes to figure it out. So... While it's tough, it is fair. I will give it that. I fucking... Deep Sixed! Oh my god, dude. It's just an amazing game in, in so many ways. I absolutely am over the top about it. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. I will say that much. Um, if you like the look of it, I, I suggest going out to pick it up. You know, it's around five or six dollars and it seems like a deal to me. Anyways, let's jump again. We've got some, some flora and fauna to destroy, so uh, probably an unexplored sector is a wise thing to do. No anomalies. Bioanalysis not installed. Not yet. Someday. Anyways, friends, I will end the, uh, the episode here. If you'd like to see some more of this, do let me know. It's, it's just a fantastic game. I really think I am getting better. It's tangible, you know? And that's, that's important for keeping someone engaged in the game. And plenty of fuel. Mm-mm, good. So the yaw thrusters are spinning me out of control, and obviously the AI is having a malfunction. Fortunately, I know a bit about the yaw thrusters, so I will unscrew this panel. Is that the right panel? This mm -hmm. nebula is unsafe. Suggest returning to Wayfarer Station 5 for reassignment. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I need to fix the AI. It's the AI. Let's check out this panel. Power flow, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, I'm sure the right panel is here somewhere. And is no longer operational. And the ventilation fan. As you can see, shit kind of just spirals out of control. <laughs> it's it's a little bit insane. So, let's see, thermostat, leave the nebula imminently. I guess we gotta get the AI fixed, um, so this cable needs to go into the AI server, and then that goes to the scanning computer, uh, the mission duty is broken, so let's trace this back, oh god, excellent. <laughs> Oh boy, how did that happen? Well, I killed a couple creatures in the nebula, but holy shit, that, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh man, it says I need to scan seven more sectors. Let's scan this empty one. That should be easy. Ooh, look at that there. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode, friends. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the episode, that is always appreciated and helps the channel to get out there and such and spread the word of Deep Six because this, this game deserves a lot more attention 
than it's been getting. It's simple, but it's fucking beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I've also got some links down in the description if you'd like to click on any of those, participate in my Twitter, Discord, Patreon. I would be very, very much appreciative. Thank you so very much. <sighs> Anyways, once again, this has been Deep Six. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I'll be relaxing in space. Oh, after I kill this fucking creature. <laughs> and until the next time, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends. <laughs>